YouTube. This is Sunnyside Shop. I am uh, working solo today, going to the bins, Goodwill Outlet, here in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. We have two here, actually, and I'm going to uh, the one closer to St. Charles, where I live. It's a little closer, and it's actually been quite better uh, lately. We went to the one in St. Louis last week, and like downtown St. Louis and uh, it was it was like so packed every bin was so packed you couldn't even like look through it so we didn't really buy that much and so we're going I'm going to the mills today that's where we've actually done pretty good lately and uh, I'll be uh, be there in just a few minutes and I'll try to get some footage in there and if not uh, I'll just show you what I got uh, at the end of this video and uh, so yeah hopefully I'll find some good stuff today and that's that for now Good stuff here. I'm not gonna record too long. I don't want anybody yelling at me. Some new stuff out here. Yeah. 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 Pretty decent thing, so I got this thing. This is an old cot aluminum. I do pretty good with that stuff. Old Disney. Um, there's not a date on here, but it's an older tag. I wish I could find the fitted sheet, but I'll have to do. I found a nice leather coat. Uh, and a bunch of jeans today, really. Um, I'll end up trying to go through some of them. Just wanted to show you what it's like in the bins here if you don't have them at home. Uh, Goodwill outlet stores. A lot of clothes to dig through. Hey look, a bed frame. We were just personally buying one of these. Uh, just last weekend. Some carpet. Carpet samples, how exciting. I don't see too much here. There's a 
Coleman stuff is good, but not the heavy air mattresses. Ooh, this guy might be all right. I have to look him up. Pretty clean. Oh, it's a Kohl's. I can look him up. If it wasn't Kohl's, <laughs> if it was like Disney or somebody, it'd be better. Uh, anyway, I'll just uh, cut this off for now and we'll go through my stuff later. I'm back here. I'm going to show you a few things I got at the mills today. And Sarah's joining me. And one thing I am excited about, not only Halloween costumes, they're pretty big, but I got these five fingers. And decent size, size 46, which uh, looks like probably about a size 10 in men's. I'll research that first. But they sell really good. Um, I'll probably, it'll probably be a quick sale and I'll get those listed tonight for 40 bucks, maybe around $40, $38.95, somewhere around there. Um, also, I'll show you my shoes first. I got some men's size 11 Johnston and Murphy's. Uh, kind of a basket weave up top there. Um, pretty clean. Uh, I do real well with shoes, so hopefully these loafers, they feel really nice inside the soles. And then I have these boots. Uh, they're born and they're suede. I might get about, I don't know, I'll probably put around $35 on them. Uh, I've done good with born shoes before. So see price models. These, I don't know, what do you think? Mid 40s. 44 dollars I don't know, we'll see. Not too bad. And then. Our mighty. I got a pirate outfit. How exciting. This one actually came from Spirit Halloween. Um, so I'll get that listed ASAP. And uh, then the Queen. We got the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Yeah, How exciting. Um, so, yeah, this hopefully will be a quick sale for this upcoming month. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, these pants. These are good pants. These are uh, Stearns, and they're a wet wet gear or dry wear. You'd wear in the rain, wet, whatever. If they're lined, uh, you wear over jeans or something. Uh, men's pants. Uh, we've sold several pairs of these before. Um, it's kind of like the frog togs. Same idea. Uh, these, uh, I haven't even looked them up yet, but I know they'll be good. I would say anywhere between $30 and $40, probably for the pair of pants. Easy. Uh, I have a old school Adidas. Uh, this is a youth size large. Um, it needs to be washed. And it needs to be washed. There's some spots on it. Uh, it's got the old old toggles on it still. But anything old school uh, Adidas is good. The trefoil. They are remaking a lot of stuff look like old stuff. But you know this is you can always tell by the true tag. vintage. Yeah, by the tag. The white tags on Adidas. Uh, like this white one. You can tell. Because Adidas will change that throughout the years. And sometimes they'll be dated as well. But uh, there's another. Here's another old Adidas tag on these pair of shorts. Yeah, not focusing. There you go. Um, so just lightweight soccer shorts or whatever. Um, just picked them up because they're obviously not costing me much. What else we got? My grab bag. Oh, oh yeah. Else? Some overalls. We do great with overalls. Uh, I got these are Dickies, and they're in a big size too. Um, bigger the better. Forty six, size forty six thirty. There was some stitching or some hem 
hems were redone. So I'll just mention that. You like those? I thought those were Mini Tonka. Yeah, Mini Tonka um, moccasins. moccasins with fringe. I did just look these up. They do have a YKK zipper. That's something to look for. Uh, these are all leather. They're in really good shape. And so those should do, I don't know, maybe only 15 or $20, but they don't weigh hardly anything. Some yeah. reef uh, ballet flats. Those sell left and right. Not, not for a whole lot, but you know, 15, 20 bucks, but they don't weigh, but maybe just a pound. Uh, jeans. Yeah. I do really well with jeans, men's jeans. Here's a pair of holster. Uh, there's a logo on the back side there. Um, 3232. They do have a hole in them, but people like that. People like it. They like them broken in, not crispy jeans anymore. Distressed, destroyed. So that's a good 35 bucks right there, easy. John Deere hat. And this is a St. Louis company. It's all leather hat. It's like a hunting hat, I guess, maybe. Um, I really don't know. It's I just we do good with hats too, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, it's adjustable, one size fits all. Henshaw is the name, St. Louis, Missouri. Hat quarters, USA. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I thought that would be fun. Like maybe maybe uh I don't know. Should I be Mary Poppins for Halloween? She doesn't have that. She had a black umbrella. Oh, whatever. So anyway, I thought that was cute, so I went ahead and got it. Oh, and tape. Yeah. Free Good packing stuff. materials. This Not is free, 3M. But well, cheap. Very cheap. Maybe nice, thick maybe tape. Quarter. Yeah, it's very thick. That's better Quality than, performance. Better than the tape I get on eBay. So... I have several other things down here. I spent a total of $31 at the bin, so that was about 31 pounds of stuff. Um, you're going through my good stuff. This is a suede wallet. I know it's very ugly, but hey, remember I told you before, uh, ugly sells top grain cowhide right there. So, and it also says Priscilla. Got a little coin purse there. As ugly as anything. It's yeah. very country. Um, identification card. I don't know. I figured it wasn't costing me much. So what the heck. It's like a little wallet. You know, somebody will buy it. And somebody at the register is going to be like, oh, that's such a cute wallet. Where'd you get it? Oh, I bought it on eBay. Uh, I got a few other things like. I got a nice Eddie Bauer vest. Nothing to hoot and holler about, but I'll get, you know, $20, $25 on that. Um, I also went to Savers, but I'll show you that in another video. I did pretty good there. Um, bought one of my favorite things there, which you'll find out maybe in a future video. Um, is that about it? So that concludes today. Don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. And... You will uh, not be disappointed in our future upcoming videos. Stay tuned.